Hey guys, it's Jimbley 304 here, and uh, this is a different type of video than you guys are used to seeing. This is a little bit of speculation about uh, what could happen with Ninjago's 10th anniversary. So, as you guys know, Ninjago was released in 2011, and in 2021 will be the 10th anniversary of the show. So this video is going to go over what I think LEGO could possibly do for Ninjago's 10th anniversary to celebrate their icon one of their most iconic franchises. Okay, so as you guys know, LEGO is not afraid of doing anniversary sets. Here's an example on screen right now. We have the Darth Vader's TIE Fighter, which is a 10th anniversary set for LEGO Star Wars in 2009. We also have the Town Plan set, which I'm not sure what this was an anniversary for, but it it was an anniversary set. It was tagged anniversary set on Brick Set, which is what I'm using. There was also Assembly Square, which was for 10 years of LEGO Modulars, so another 10th anniversary thing right there. We have all these... Uh, building bigger thinking sets that were released last year for LEGO 60th anniversary. And we also have the 20th anniversary sets for Star Wars that were released as well with the Battle of Hoth. We also have the Avengers Tower and Mr. Gold, which was a 10th thing again. And the Avengers Tower was 10 years of Marvel. Uh, let's see, we have the Millennium Falcon, which I guess was kind of an anniversary set for like 10 years since that was released. So again, another 10-year thing. Darth Vader bust and uh, all these other 20th anniversary sets, or these are obviously 20th anniversary for Star Wars. But this just shows my point that they're not afraid of doing an anniversary set for a theme. But I, here's my thoughts on what LEGO could do for Ninjago. So a member of the LEGO Ninjago community by the name of Ninja Whip has tweeted this message that you see in front of you at LEGO. I will read it here in just a second. It reads, Hey guys, so you know Ninjago's 10th anniversary is coming up, right? I know, crazy. At LEGO Group does an incredible, incredible job listening to us, the fans. Perhaps if we spread the word about an incredible cancelled LEGO set, we could potentially resurrect it. Hashtag Ninjago. You guys may or may not have known about this, but LEGO was going to release a Ninjago Snake Train back in 2012, but the set ultimately got cancelled. Just Too Good has talked about this a few times, and I've talked about this a couple times myself on various live streams. I feel like this would be a great set for LEGO to bring back for Ninjago's 10th anniversary, maybe in 2022 for the 10th anniversary of that season, but for 10th anniversary of Ninjago, that'd be a great set to have, and I'm going to give some other examples of what I think LEGO would do as well for an anniversary set. So, one of the sets they could do is, like, the UCS Cloud City, except this would be Cloud Kingdom for Ninjago. They could have different room. They could have the writer's room. They have a bunch of different minifigs and those boats and stuff like that, which would be cool. They could do a Borg Tower, which we are supposedly rumored to be have coming out this year. I'm still not 100% sure if that's actually happening or not, but if you guys know, please let me know in the comments. And another set that could happen, which I would really love, and I would definitely buy this day one, would be Lloyd's Treehouse. That'd be such a great set. We have a bunch of Hypnobri and stuff like that. Like, it'd just be a great set. So, let me know what you guys think about this conspiracy theory, whether it's completely crazy, or if you think it could be spot-on accurate or not. I feel like this would be a great idea um, for LEGO to do in the future, obviously. it. I don't see how it could go wrong. The sets would sell great. I would I would buy one of each, obviously. I mean, I might buy more than one Lloyd's Treehouse, but that's that's a, that's another story for another day, okay? But let me know what you guys think of this. If you think it's logical or not, or what sets you think Lego should make for uh for other waves of Ninjago or whatever. But with that, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoy, and I uh, will see you guys in the next video. This is Jimblade eight three zero four signing off. Bye.